recently at a Club Cubase users group, we had several different questions and a discussion all based around a central theme of editing based on Snap. Now what Snap allows you to do is to perform edits that are tied to the grid. Snap can be turned on and off by clicking on this icon or by hitting J on the computer keyboard. Now Snap is going to be based on the primary time display format. So right now I have this set to bars and beats, but I could also do it for time code or seconds. So many people discover Snap in an awkward way when they go to cut a portion of the audio out with the split tool and realize that Cubase is only allowing them to split at the bar. So if I turn Snap off, I can now freely cut anywhere in the audio file, but turning snap on allows me to cut only at the bar. And we can have the same relationship by moving events. I can't move it in between the bars, but the beginning of the event will be tied directly to the measure. Turning snap off will allow you to freely move those events or again snap on to snap directly to that value. Now the value can change and we have different intervallic relationships for snap. So right now we have it set to bar. But if I wanted to, I could also set this for beat. We'll zoom in just a little bit. And now when I have the snap enabled, I could snap directly to the beat. Or if we wanted to use the quantize value, at this point we could have it go down to 128th note. I'll have it set to 16th notes. And as we snap, it'll snap directly to 16th notes. Snap is intrinsically tied to nudging, and a lot of people miss nudging, and it's a very powerful thing in Cubase, but it may not be activated by default on your toolbar at the top. To activate the nudge palette, you want to right click and then just put a, a check right next to the nudge palette, and we could see it here. The nudge pout allows us to, again, I'm going to set my snap to bar. And at this point, we could move events that are selected by bar or, and I could also just hold down command or control plus the left and right arrows to do this. We could also take the beginning, so we could, we could trim the start based on the snap value. We could trim the end based on the snap value. And there's great keyboard shortcuts. So if I wanted to hit Alt or Option, I could take the beginning and use Alt or Option plus my left, my right arrow, my left arrow. And if I hold down Alt Shift, we could trim the beginning or the ending of the value based on the snap. Now, as we mentioned before, the snap is gonna be based on a primary time display. So if we wanted to set this to seconds, I could now snap not only based on one millisecond, 10 milliseconds, 100 milliseconds, or 1,000 milliseconds, or one second. And if we change this to bars and beats, or let's say to time code. At this point, we could do one frame, two frames, one second, sub frames, or if we even wanted to nudge events based on samples, we can choose to actually nudge based on sample rate based here on your project or down to a single sample. So as we do this, we can now snap events based on different time formats. Now one question that we got that was really interesting is someone wanted to snap the event not to the beginning of the audio file but to an event like to a portion of the audio file itself. So let's take a listen to this guitar part here. So let's say right at that downbeat they wanted the sync point or snap point and not, they didn't want it snapped to the beginning of the audio file. So we have this open in our sample editor here. And what we want to do is to turn on this icon 
and this would allow you to show the audio event. So we're gonna just turn that on, and once we see this, we'll see a little, little icon here and a little line that has an S in the middle, and this is a snap point. So what I want to do is to just simply move that snap point, and now when we have snap enabled to the bar, that instead of the beginning of the file to be snapped to the bar line, it's this actual part of the file itself. So we could have any portion inside of the audio file be set as the snap point. So as you can see, once you kind of learn how to use snap or to not use snap, you could really speed up your workflow and in editing inside of Cubase. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.